Anna Rosowitz and her husband, Bert Meyer, are renovating their 1960s house to what they hope will be a 2,000 watt standard. The first step, adding six inches of insulation all over. That's the old one, and here is the insulation. Uh -huh. The new bench, which is much wider, of course. In American terms, that's a, that's a, a, a foot and yeah. more than a foot. Yeah, the last 20 centimeters of it is uh, the insulation now. Right. New insulation. New insulation. So you basically put, a, put another extra wall of insulation on the outside of the existing house. Yeah. Then they replaced all the windows that were more than 10 years old and installed a heat exchanger that warms incoming air with the heat already in the house. Together, these things had a huge impact. The new windows and the ventilation also with the heat, with the heat recovery saves us some 60% or even more of the energy that we used so far. Then the family went one better. They installed a row of solar collectors in the garden. Under the glass, thin pipes carry water across a heat absorbing background. The water then runs into a huge state-of-the-art hot water tank, enough capacity here to heat the house and supply hot water for the washing. So you, you've got warm water here, heated by the solar collector in the garden. Yeah. How, how warm is it? At the moment, at uh, 20 past 3 in the afternoon, it's still some 38, 37 centigrades. So almost 100 degrees. Yeah. That, and that's just sun? sun. Yeah. On a winter's day in December. Yeah, and it can easily be, easily be um, 50 to 60 uh, degrees centigrade. Yeah. And well over 100, well over too hot for a shower. Yeah, yes, exactly. Much yeah. too hot. Yeah. yeah. The next step is to put solar cells on the roof. And then this household will actually generate surplus electricity to sell back to the power company. Teenage David, who helped with the renovation, is delighted by the project. Partly because he can now indulge his love of long, hot showers guilt-free. But more importantly, his family is showing what you can do with some investment, some commitment, and some proven technology. We're going to solve it all, aren't we? At some point, or maybe we're not going to solve it ever.